Bill Bugs is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes that you send me as I do the same for you. You know, you're helping your everybody else heal as you do the same for yourself as I'm doing the same for myself. And that is so greatly appreciated. You know, keep up the great work, you know, and keep pressing out that positive flow out into the world is all greatly appreciated. With that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you uh been watching my videos for a while, I have not already. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Or if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video, or if you're telling me about the empathic gift that has been placed upon you. So, um, even if the video just gave you some good information or just put you in a good place, you know, go ahead and pass it on. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And today, the beautiful common music I'm listening to today is Healing Frequency. Release fear. One, relax, relaxation, music, stress reduction, which is very peaceful. It makes me feel like I'm like out in the bayou, like, you know, with the breeze coming out, you know, like a, a little hut, whatever. <laughs> and you're just, you know, you're just listening to the water or whatever. So it sounds really peaceful. So, but today my video is about Twin Flame 101, find your strength within your weaknesses. We have to, because it's like a lot of things that we pray to God for, pray whoever we are, to, you know, release certain things. And, you know, certain things will leave out of our lives. And, you know, sometimes we, you know, we don't understand why that these things leave our lives or whatever, but they're all meant for a positive purpose you know and sometimes it can be very hurtful sometimes it can be very traumatizing and sometimes it can be very just devastating but that's when the time when we have to find our strength through things that 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 we can trust you know and it was just like i never thought i was going to be able to ever get over my mom's death or my sister's death and you know and that was the most hurtful thing to actually go through it's just you know being as young as I was you know I was depending on my parents when people died you know I never had to worry about stuff like that I never had to worry about taking care of stuff like that but that was the time that I had to step up to the plate and do everything for my mom you know find strength in places I never thought I could and then when I stepped back and looked like that you were able to do all this stuff on your own you know even though towards the end you didn't have to go on your own but you were able to get things together you were able to you know you know I was able to help all my family get together and just able to you know get them to see my mom for that last time because I knew that she was going to be passing soon you know let her to be able to you know see all her family members before she said her final goodbyes and I know she was very grateful those things because she was looking at me like I can hear in her head like you did all this by yourself and I'm like she's like girl I'm so proud of you because my mom never told me that but it took for my mom to die for all these things to happen and it was just like you know I was I was hateful to God I was I, you know I said some very cruel things because I felt like you know why you know me and my mom had this oil and water you know oil and water I said oil and water and vinegar it, and it felt like that like you know relationship it was very bitter and it took my mom to really go through some you know you know terminal things for her to say you know what I can't allow myself to be upset you know life is way too short I'm sitting up here dying and don't know when I'm gonna be dying I need to live instead of existing you know I need to find that strength because you know my time is almost up and she knew that so my mom was trying to make everything better you know, for things, and it was just like, when I went through that, I never thought I was going to be able to go, you know, get through anything else like that, you know, and I had death fall on my lap, like, too many times, and I never felt like I was going to be able to get through these things, or I was going to be able to comprehend, or I didn't think I was going to be able to jump back up, but I eventually, I did, 
So it's just like when you're going through things, know that you know you need to find your strength when within the things that make you weak. You know, the things that you know you turn away from because you don't feel like dealing with. That's where you need to find your strength at. Because there's sometimes we'll get mad at God, be like, Okay, well you took this out of my life, why don't you take this out of my life? God is gonna only put only so much on you that you can handle. And even though you might be like, oh, I can't handle this. Yes, you can. And I mean, there's sometimes I, I get the same way. Like, I don't want to handle this. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to do that. But I eventually, you know, when, when I calm down and I think rational and not being, you know, and it's hard sometimes, but you have to think about rule number one. Don't ever make rash decisions when you're emotional. Because sometimes you can feel that way at that moment. You end up saying something stupid or doing something stupid. And you're like, dang, you know, I can't take this back. Or, dang, you know, I did this and I feel bad for it. So it's just like you have to really, you know, sit down. And it's just like when you get in your feelings and stuff like that, you got to really think, you know, I have to get through this. I don't know how I'm going to get through this, but I need to find strength from somewhere. And it comes from somewhere. You know, you always feel it from the heart. And it's just, you know, embrace that. Find your strength within your weaknesses. The things that you go through, know that there's a reason behind every pain bump scratch bruise you have ever gotten and it's just like when you know you've gone through things and you're like rosalyn i don't know if i can get through this you have to look at everything you've been through before and be like you know what i got through these things i got through that and then, you know this might be hard these times are very hard for me but you know the devil is busy when they see they see you as a threat oh they're gonna throw all type of mess all kind of monkey punches in your program just because they see what kind of soldier they dealing with? They will throw all type of things in your program just to make you give up, just just to make you frustrate and say to hell with this. I'm I'm, I'm done. And they're gonna be sitting here laughing at you and say, you know what? We got what we wanted. So you know, if, like I said, you need to take that break. Take that break. You know, you need to sit down. You want to kick and scream? That's fine. Get your kumbaya yas out. Do your only on rank egg yo, and then come back to reality. And know that things happen for a reason. Know there's a purpose behind everything that you go through. And then you will get that understanding. And when you can start looking at it like that, not in a negative way, but sometimes I, I fault myself for doing that too. I do it too. You know, you look at stuff, you, you, you're like, you, you really look at the universe like, why are you really doing this with me? Why are you really doing this? And then when you look at it, after all everything is said and done, then you can truly understand why you had to go through this. You know? So be able to understand that there's things that happen for a reason. There's purpose behind every decision you make, and there's purpose behind every reaction that you have. But, you know, dig deep. Find that strength where you don't feel it at times. You're going to have to find it because you have it in there somewhere. If you are able to get through many things before, I know you will get through the things you're getting through now, and then you'll be stronger than ever before. So know that everything has a reason happening the way they happen but you always find the strength behind the things that you need to find strength for because it's just god will take things out of your life but some of the things we need to take out of our lives for ourselves because it's just like he can't do all of it we have to be able to find that strength in yourself and be okay i'm not going to pick this up anymore i'm not going to do this anymore i'm not going to think this way anymore i'm not going to say these things anymore you know you, you have to be able to do those on your own so it's just like when, when he, when you know, the teacher is always going to be quiet during the test. You got to remember. That. So I hope you are able to get something out of this this content of my video today. I hope it opened up your minds and your hearts towards something. You know, you are able to resonate with. You know, drop me a line. I love the chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so I can be able to be able to know when I'm about to upload my next video. It's like almost two o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting up here up like it's like five o'clock in the afternoon so I had to take me a break earlier because I was just drained from the world today so I hope everybody is doing blessed and having a great weekend well I had a great weekend because this is going to be on Monday well I'm actually doing this on Sunday so I will see y'all later drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you like and subscribe pass the word on give me a thumbs up like me to share on your social media wherever you see fit and I will talk to you later send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know you are blessed and highly favored and you are true love know there is somebody always out there praying for your better days and I will see you later send out as much love and positivity as well and I will see you later peace bye